Welcome to your back. Today we are back with a different video, but today it is still on my restaurant. So in this video, I'm going to be giving y'all a tier list from S to F on the best game passes in Roblox, my restaurant. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So first we have the auto collect theme. Or not theme. I saw a future theme right here. How about this the auto collect game pass i think we are gonna put this at a b put it at a b tier just because for the fact honestly we might not, we might need to bump that up i think i'm gonna leave it at b for now be just because of the fact that if you guys come over here, it is um, 400 Robux. Actually, so it's not bad. It's $5. And pretty much what it does, it, it auto collects all your, like, all the plates and stuff. So, I mean, yeah. I'm going to have to bump that up to an A, to be honest with you guys. Auto collect, I think, is good. But, I'm not ever going to need it, though. I'm not going to buy it. Not like a necessity to buy it or whatever, so I'm not gonna buy it. Auto seat customers. I'm gonna put this at a B. I'm gonna be honest, I might I'm gonna replace this at a B too. And so I'm gonna put these two as a B tier just because of the fact I no. I'm I'm overthinking this right now. Auto collect A, auto seat B, because if you guys have enough staff members, then you guys shouldn't ever need um to auto the auto seat customers not auto collect 10 for layouts like i have i'm probably gonna need it to be honest guys and i might end up getting it at some point but you know right now it's not a necessity so i'm not gonna get it so we have the bigger restaurant right here we'll go ahead and this is obviously going to be an s tier just because the bigger restaurant theme literally like a, a lot of the community has it a lot of community doesn't have it. It's kind of like, I don't know. But it is good because the best uh, players in the entire game use it. Same as me, I use it. And it gets me to be able to use the best possible layouts in the entire game. Obviously, it goes on an F2. Right here, we got the future theme right here. I'm going to put this at a D. Just because it is a nice theme to have. But I'm pretty sure it's 500 Robux Go over here. It is 500 Robux just for a theme that does basically nothing. Also, I just wanted to mention that Odyssey is 600 Robux. So, yes, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Future theme is definitely a D tier, maybe even an F to be honest, because it's not worth the money at all to be honest, with you guys. But Right here, we got the gaming gamer set bundle. Go ahead, put this at the. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at. The, I don't know a D or F for me because I just want to see how much. It's 800 Robux, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and have to put it at the F tier just because for the fact for 800 Robux you can get a corrupted uh, table. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you guys can get a corrupted table for just one and then have a 50% chance of having a corrupt customer. So, gamer set is a big no for me. It's because, you know, it's not good. It's not good. Um, well, the gamer itself is good, but for 800 Robux, just have, I'm pretty sure it's just four chairs and one table. Let's go ahead and look at it. It gives you three gamer chairs and two tables. And when it combines, 25%. Also has a flashy. Y yeah, it's just no, no for the 800 Robux for three gaming chairs and two tables. Doesn't even give a full set. I don't know why. It should be given a lot more than two and three, but it, it is what it is. So that goes as an F tier. Golden Wishing Well. I'm going to go ahead and put this at the B tier. Just because, yes, it is. I'm pretty sure it's 800 Robux if I go ahead and look at it right now. It's, yeah, it's 800 Robux. But when I was 
in mid game area, you know, getting from. Uh, I think I had T. It was from. No, it was from Gamer. From Gamer. I don't even know. But I was going from something to something, and I, like, auto AFK it on the Golden Glitching Well all day long, dude. So that was really helpful for me. And, you know, it's basically like having a haunted wishing well. Except you can have it only one for one hour. So, you know, you guys you can see the E button from the outside. Then you guys can definitely AFK this right here. The high tech bundle. Go ahead and put that at the F. It is not good. The high tech stuff is not good for the amount of Robux it costs. Jukebox. I mean, yeah, it's cool. Go ahead and put it at the C tier just because it doesn't cost a lot of Robux. I think it's 150. Yeah. 150 Robux for a jukebox. You guys can play any music you want. So that would be very cool. And, you know, anybody in the game can come in to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at the C tier. Very cheap. Luxury bundle. I'm going to go ahead and put that at the F tier because just because luxury stuff is not that good. And actually, not, not that good. It's good for zero prestige. That's it. And it's so much Robux that I feel like they do need to go ahead and redo that. It's 800 Robux just for that. You know, and in the game, if you guys, I, I can buy infinite amount of those. I can literally have my AFK, like, I can literally have my mouse AFKing on it while, like, overnight. And I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna lose that much money. So, that's a big no for Anna Robux. Money Tree, go ahead and put that at the D tier. Because if you guys are starting off the game, the money tier would be very good to have. But late game, end game, heck no. This is a big no-no. It's a big waste of Robux. You guys aren't going to need it at all coming into late game or mid game. doesn't even matter. Anything outside of if you guys have... Uh, I would say if you guys have Princess or above, you guys aren't going to need it at all. Rich customers. Go ahead and put that at D tier. Just because if you guys are starting off the game, just like the money tier, or the money tree, it can be good, but it's not really the best in the game, to be honest. And I'm pretty sure it's 800 robot. Money tree is 700. This, oh, it's 1200. Yeah, that's a big no no for me right there. But if we go ahead and do the royal bundle, that is definitely an F tier just because it is so expensive. To thousand robux for some royal stuff where you guys can trade for real in the game so that's a big no. um and two thousand robux is that's like twenty dollars twenty plus dollars for, for some robux that's not good at all you got the starter bundle right here go ahead and put this at the d tier or not d tier f tier as usual you know we have gamer no not it's just not good starter bundle is not good if you guys want to start the game off well, you might as well get Money Tree or Rich Customers. Like, I don't understand why you would get Starter Bundle for Robux when it literally costs a couple thousand in the game. So we have VIP. Go ahead and put this at the C tier just because, you know, like all end game players have it. But if you guys are getting from or trying to go from beginner to then beginner to Beginner to end game. I mean, yeah, you guys actually it'll be very useful. You get it like every 15 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. And it's dependable on your level, the amount that you get. And I get a lot per hour. So that is I think it's very good to have right there. And then I get like not third not per hour. Per hour, I get it every 15 minutes. I would get 15, 30, 30, 45, 60. I would get four. I get 30,000. 30, that's 120,000. That would be very good. So that's why I'm going to put it at C tier. But, and it's also, it gives you a name tag too. So that's why it's at C tier and it's not very expensive. So that is, I want, actually, let me see if I forgot anything. No, I didn't forget anything. We got 14, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. So I did not forget any game passes at all. So that is pretty much all we got for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to Subscribe, like, hit notification. I'll see you in the next video. Hope you all enjoyed and peace out.